in vain that built it. So my sisters, your pastor stands. I want every man to stand with me in this house. Every man, every man, wherever you at. I want every young boy Stand with me in this house. Come May. Come May. We going to work. We going to work. The brothers that's not here, call them up. Tell them there's work going on. Tell them that Pastor Caldwell is ringing a bell. And when you hear the bell, tell them I want you to come running. And I want you to bring your hammer, your saw, your nails. I want to bring your desire to build on the house that God's going to bless us with. And I challenge every man in this house, every man that hasn't been here for months, we're going after every man. And we want us to come collectively, amen, that when these women come in here, they're not ashamed to tell somebody, come to my church. Come see my church. Come see what the men in my ministry is doing. They're working on our church. They're lifting up our church. We are blessing God's people. Will you stand with me, men? Will you stand with me, my brothers? Will you stand with me as we do as God said, as Solomon said, amen, that except the Lord build the house, we want to build the Lord's house and we want to do it, amen, with vigor and vitality because the God that I serve has called each and every one of us into service. And whatever talent that you have, whatever talent that you have, bring it to the house of prayer that we may bring, amen, about a change in the house of prayer. Everybody stand. We offer Christ to you. The doors of the church have never been closed, but we offer Christ to you. We want you to come. I'm starting to see a bunch of young ladies starting to come to our ministry. We used to have what was called the Daughters of Destiny. It fell by the wayside. I want to raise it up again. I said I want to raise it up again. I don't need to say nothing more, my sisters. I want to raise it up again. Do I need to say any more? Amen. So, we offer Christ to you. We offer Christ. If you don't know Christ, Nicodemus said, what must I do to be saved? Jesus said, you gotta be born again. He said, well, can I go into my mother's womb a second time? No, Nicodemus, that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is a spiritual regeneration. My brother, my sister, God can make you over again. God can breathe new life into your life. Your friends and your loved ones may have given up on you, but God says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. I'll be with you even until the end of the world. And so if you want to experience this Christ that placed my feet upon a rock to stand, sometimes I fell off, but he allowed me to get back up. Will there be one? may be seated.
We're going to meet right here in this sanctuary. And we're going to set the house in order. From the inside 